Little baby Harper was just hours old when her father, Logan Anderson, 16 years of age, laid her in the snow and put two bullets through her head. This happened in Albany, Wisconsin recently. The mother, also 16, gave birth in a bathtub. Why did they do it? Anderson said they couldn't look after the baby, so they got rid of it. He has been charged with intentional homicide and will likely spend the rest of his life in jail. And the mother, even if she doesn't go to jail, will live in an emotional hell, a prison in her mind, unable to forgive herself unless she finds mercy and grace in Christ and deliverance. Why did these kids do this? What were they thinking? And yet this is not unlike what goes on in abortion clinics day after day in America. Legalized abortion has killed two times as many people as COVID in the same time period. That kind of infanticide that took place with this couple in Wisconsin and takes place in abortion clinics is beyond human comprehension when you look at the facts. The callousness of abortion is not much different than what happened at Wisconsin, especially when it's done by suction and courage, which is a nice way of saying that the unborn child is chopped to pieces and then by vacuum suction evacuated and discarded. The tragedy of what happened in Wisconsin could have been avoided. I have no idea what the background of these children is like, but I do know this, they could not possibly have been raised in a loving, stable Christian family with a biblical ethic about sex, relationships, and life. In a certain sense, the reality is this. When we look at it from the perspective of spiritual warfare, that little baby Harper was sacrificed as an offering to the demon god Moloch, whether or not that was their intention. Sacrificed on an altar of expediency. You and I have to do everything we can to stop every kind of slaughter in our land, and the only way to do that is to wage spiritual warfare and to push back against the demonic forces behind all of this. That's why I want you today to enroll in our International School of Exorcism and then go on to our Advanced Academy of Deliverance and learn how to dispel the demons of death and murder and infanticide before one more innocent baby is left to die in the snows of a cold Wisconsin winter. Your financial support and prayers make it possible for us to bring hope for the hurting and freedom to those in spiritual bondage. For the latest information regarding ministry outreaches, go to boblarson.org or call 303-980-1511.